The History of LEGO Ninjago In 2010, the LEGO Group were looking to design their next Big Bang theme. Big Bang themes are a series of LEGO sets with an emphasis on the story, bold, personality-driven characters, and typically utilising a range of promotional material to assist with the advertising and success of the theme, such as TV shorts and magazines. Coming off of the back of the recent relative successes of Exoforce, Agents, and Power Miners, the LEGO Group announced LEGO Ninjago, a spiritual successor to the old ninja theme. LEGO Ninjago brought the action forward in time, it added a splash of colour, eccentric villains and a more technologically driven slant to the classic ninja theme. Ninjago was launched in 2011 and was immediately a huge hit for LEGO. The group's sales grew by 25% in the year thanks to both Ninjago and the launch of the minifigure Blind Bags. Production on Ninjago's second year was ramped up, expanding the range of Spinjitsu collectible battle figures and buildable sets. The theme was joined by a television show, originally a two episode special that was split down into four, and after the initial success of the theme and the show, a second series was commissioned. The villains for the first year of Ninjago focused on an undead skeleton army led by the evil Lord Garmadon. 2012 opened with the launch of new Ninjago products featuring snake villains and introducing a mysterious new green ninja whose identity is later revealed to be Lloyd, the son of Lord Garmadon. The number of sets for the year increased and the popular Spinjitsu toys continued. Each of the first two years of Ninjago had around 15 boxed building sets and a total number of sets including Spinjitsu spinners of more than 40 each year. The second year of Ninjago was again very successful and along with LEGO Friends which launched this year contributed to a large portion of the LEGO Group's revenue in 2012. Indeed Ninjago was confirmed to be LEGO's second most profitable theme presumably after Star Wars. It was therefore surprising given the huge success of the second year of LEGO Ninjago that the group reined in their support of the theme and released only six boxed sets and titled them the final battle, announcing that it would be the last year of LEGO Ninjago and that the theme had been discontinued and replaced by a new theme for 2014 which was later revealed to be Legends of Chima. The antagonists in the final battle sets were Stone Army Warriors and a key plot point revolved around the fabled Golden Ninja. Shortly after the announcement of the cancellation of Ninjago, LEGO went back on their word and brought Ninjago back for another year. Promotional images showed Zane's cyborg face with the caption rebooted and the theme was revived when it was on the brink of death. It was another smaller year featuring two small waves in winter and summer and the storyline involved cyborg ninjas and a robotic mechanical theme. At the end of 2014 the Lego Ninjago movie was announced and it reignited hope of a large scale comeback of Ninjago. In 2015, LEGO Ninjago returned with a vengeance, with two very large waves, both with their own completely separate and expansive storylines, the theme had a resurgence in the eyes of the LEGO group, whilst the popularity never dwindled with the fan base. The winter wave focused on a jungle setting and a cult of snake worshipping anachondri warriors, and the summer wave focused on ghosts and added a lot of mythology and new characters to the theme. There was a pseudo sequel to the original Spinjitsu spinners in the form of Air Jitsu Flyers. Summer 2015 saw the theme's first direct to consumer set, the very large Temple of Air Jitsu, featuring a large selection of minifigures and a highly detailed temple structure that appealed to adults and children. With increased product presence in stores and a wider target audience, Ninjago contributed a large chunk to the LEGO Group's overall success in 2015 and their revenue grew another 25%. The Ninjago theme was then declared as evergreen, meaning that the theme was planned to be a permanent installation in the year-on-year -year lineup. 2016 saw another two independent waves of Ninjago, one featuring the Sky Pirates and the other a celebration of all that's come before, revisiting lots of classic Ninjago villains. 
The TV show continued to be a popular cartoon with good action and long overarching plots. The Ninjago Empire grew further with the introduction of a trading card game distributed in Europe and the continuing magazine series entered double digits which is still running to this day featuring comic strips, puzzles and a minifigure each issue. It was also announced that there would be Ninjago zones in Lego lands across the world. Perhaps 2017 has been the biggest year for Ninjago so far. In January there was a conventional wave released with some different snake villains called the Vermilion Army and a deep storyline titled The Hands of Time with some more unique human antagonists. The sets featured some unique elements and highly decorated builds. The Lego Ninjago movie has just been released in September and the supporting sets have been highly regarded by fans of Ninjago and indeed fans of Lego who haven't given Ninjago a second look before. Both sets of fans commending the movie sets for their intricate designs, bold and colourful looks and unique action features. The second direct-to-consumer set was released in Ninjago City and at the time was the third biggest LEGO set of all time in terms of piece count. The first wave will be followed up shortly by a winter wave and there is a rumoured third wave set to be released in the coming months. It remains to be seen how successful the LEGO Ninjago movie will be, but if we look ahead to 2018 there are no signs of Ninjago slowing down. Not only will there be the next waves of the Ninjago movie sets, but there will be a classic wave of Ninjago in the winter as well featuring the Sons of Garmadon and the return of Spinjitsu collectibles, albeit in a more modernised format. Perhaps we will see a sequel to the Ninjago movie in several years. This is as yet unannounced, but it is clear to see that Ninjago has become one of LEGO's most popular properties of all time, and a very well recognised brand and much loved by its fans. Please check the links in the description to this video for some references and additional reading. Thank you for watching Brick Burst. If you're not already subscribed, I'd really appreciate if you did so, and I'd be delighted if you were to share this video with your friends. Thanks again.